Okay, so here we are inside of uh, Microsoft Dynamics Serum Online. Uh, so Jim, do you just want to uh, walk us through a demonstration of your product? Right, let's just do a quick demonstration using the standard data that comes in the, uh, in the AdventureWorks Bicycle Demo. So as you can see here, John, we've got a list of opportunities. What I'm going to do is actually open up the Louisville Bicycle Company. And uh, of course, here's the opportunity. And when we look at uh, the product view, we see now that we have a couple additional buttons that have been added into CRM Online. One is the ability to configure new opportunity products. Okay. And that's what I'm going to select. So in this case, I get a list of those products which are not simple stock or standard products. These right. are products that are configured. So we're going to pick the uh, bicycle. So a typical scenario for our customers is they may have thousands and thousands of potential products that they could sell. But what we're really doing is abstracting that huge range of products and services down to a very simple product choice, okay. which is a family. So, fir so first of all, you've taken us into you've taken us into a, a custom interface. So obviously, we'll we'll want to see see how those interfaces are generated. Uh, so can you just talk, us how, talk to us about how this is working and how, this, how the configuration tool is actually delivering this? Certainly. This is a user interface that was um, modeled in our uh, modeling environment, which we'll look at in a minute. And typically, there are two problems that we're trying to solve with one of these applications. Number one uh, problem is a guided selling. Okay. Kind of, uh, you know, what kind of recommendations or advice can we give to quickly arrive at a, a product spec that we think uh, meets the customer's needs? And so that's what you see here on the first screen. So in this case, uh, some of the questions that we might ask is, what type of bicycle, a road bike, a mountain bike, or a terrain bike? And in this case, I'm going to select a mountain bike. You'll notice as we're making selections that some of the other choices or questions that one might ask um, are being constrained or limited down. And okay. I'll show you those rules when we go through the modeling environment. In this case, I can have a silver or a black. I'm going to pick a frame size. Oftentimes, a customer might ask for a recommendation based on just a handful of choices such as these. And in this case, maybe they're not so concerned about price, but what they're looking for is a very light mountain bike. Okay. So with that, essentially, our engine can make a recommendation. And what you see here is we've actually recommended the BKM uh, 82B 42-inch. Okay. So this is uh, the bike that uh, we're recommending. Now, the beauty of this is that the customer can actually then pursue uh, further choices and customize this bike. So if I click on the customize, what you see, of course, on the right panel is essentially the description of the bike, all the components uh, and options that are on the bike that we've recommended. But again, now we've got a menu of other choices that are available. For example, if we look at frames, we might actually be able to actually select a handcrafted um, optimum diameter uh, frame uh, as an additional option. And as we make those choices, of course, it's changing and, and recalculating the price right. based on that selection, and it's noting those changes. So the ability to actually then customize the bicycle down at the specific feature component level is an option. So this is really this is also generating a bill of materials, right? And if you're familiar with the AdventureWorks part data, if I click on the view parts link, what you see here is we've popped up a window to show you what's happening behind this specification. For example, you can see that my frame choice is really being translated into a specific part number that's in the AdventureWorks database. So, you, so you've actually used your solution to read the the uh, Microsoft uh, AdventureWorks cycle demo database. Yeah. Uh, it, before we do, before we actually go over to that, I think it's important to note that all the data that you're generating is actually being stored directly back into CRM. That's correct, and and that's a really key key. Uh, it was a key design requirement for us because what we want to do is allow this to be an on-demand solution, um, and we also wanted to make sure that the workflow tools and the reporting tools and everything else that you have in the CRM platform is available to our solution. Excellent. Yep.